Okay, Cessna Ace, back again with my Sega Master System Game Collection Part 2. There are a couple of things I want to get out of the way first before I get started. Well, three things actually. One just popped into my head. Um, first of all, I want to give two big shout outs to friends of mine in Japan. And I know a lot of you immediately thought, Japan, Luke Morse One, yes, Luke Morse One is one of them. He is awesome. He does awesome videos. He does play videos. He does repair videos. He does just about everything you can think of. And I love the videos that he does when he goes off out the hard off to buy video games or consoles or when he goes to score a big hot dog from McDonald's for breakfast. And uh, so check him out if you haven't already. Uh, the other one who lives in Japan, at Sumi, I believe, is where she lives, is Padawan Kim. And Padawan Kim uh, is awesome. She's also adorable. I just love her voice. And um, I think it would be awesome if Luke Morse One and Padawan Kim we're to meet someday and do a video together. Uh, what do y'all think? I just think that would be awesome. And along the same veins, or in the same vein, uh, two of my mates in England. I have a lot of mates in England. I have a lot of friends there, a lot of subscribers there, and I subscribe to a lot more who live there. Uh, so many I can't keep track of them, really. Um, but these two guys are really awesome. Uh, Ian Wilson, 1978, and the other one is um, Super Dan 88. And they have met in real life, I know. So if they could get together again and do a video together, that would be awesome. It's also probably more likely than Luke Morris One and Padawan Kim meeting, but. Uh, Hopefully both meetings can take place, because that would be just totally awesome. Uh, also, speaking of Super Dan 88, this is what came to my mind just as I started recording this thing. He did a uh, view, review of a console by iTech. It's one of these uh, inexpensive, made in China, clones, and it's a clone of the Wii. Looks just like a Wii, except it's a lot smaller. And um, it lo looked like it worked pretty well. And also, uh, the games looked pretty good, graphics-wise. Uh, and of course, I'm a big Zuma fan, and Zuma was one of the games built into it. But then he had a surprise at the end of Part 2, and I'm not going to spoil the surprise. I'm just going to say that was a deciding factor. Coming up in a couple of weeks, however long it takes, I am going to be doing my first unpacking video because I ordered one. In fact, I just got an email this morning that it's already been shipped. So, Super Dan 88, you are responsible for me breaking out my credit card and spending money I don't have. Okay. Now, let's do some games. Games? Let's get into games? Before I run out of time. This is one of the games I bought my Master System for. I bought it back in the day. Toys R Us. And it doesn't say arcade on here. Usually when it's in a port of an arcade game, it says arcade. So this one doesn't. But I played it in the arcade. Okay, a minty fresh manual, flat, and a minty fresh poster uh, catalog. I've lost track. I think I have six or seven of those poster catalogs by now. Okay, let's see what we got here. This one's a U.S. release because it says from Tonka on it, but I also know but just by looking at it that I bought it used. And the reason I know that sticker 
I don't put stickers on my boxes. I don't write on my boxes. I don't write on my manuals. I don't write on my game cartridges. I don't submerge my game cartridges under water. I don't do any of that stuff I don't understand. I also don't throw away boxes to games. Um, it may sound a little bit anal or OCD-ish, uh, both of which I am uh, officially diagnosed OCD. Um, about being officially diagnosed with being anal, but I am. Uh, I've rambled on so much about this one, I can't remember what I've said when I have it. Monopoly. This one is a little strange. I say that because while most, if not all, Master System games had color screenshots in the back, this one doesn't. It has black and white. And if you look up there in the corner at the top, it looks like somebody had cut that from something else and pasted it in there and then had to force it in behind the plastic. And um, the only logical explanation I can come up with is that they had a copy without the artwork on the back, and they had another copy that did, and so they cut the copy, or they photocopied the back, and then took the photocopy and cut it up and put it in here. At any rate, that was not kosher. And I think I may have room for one more if I hurry. I don't want to go over and then have to go through the process of deleting it and uploading it again because eBay says, it's 10.01. You can't take it. This one I bought from a guy in Germany, I believe. Uh, I'm fairly certain it was Germany. Batman Returns, an action game. And one dead giveaway that it's a European release. It has languages and let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different languages. Whereas in the US, just one. And we can all guess what that one language was. Okay, I think I'm running out of time here. I did want to also say something to Super Dan 88. Kind of a semi-apology. Last night I had recorded a video after I'd recorded my Sega Master System Collection Part 1. Uh, I think it was on Laserdisc. I don't know. It was all blur. I was so tired last night when I finally gave up. And I ended it with Chow. Well, first of all, Chow. 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 Is a copyrighted... Uh, Thing done by Super Dan 88. That's his copyright. Just like uh, Luke Morris One has copyrighted, um, pop this in and play some of that. And so now Luke informed me that uh, I am now copyrighted with Stay Awesome. <laughs>